He's on fire. Fantastic performance. Oh, what a leap. Takes a superb catch. What a win. That's done it. The whole team running over to celebrate. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Mike Zamla, I think I already this is... Uh, okay, I forgot what this is. This is Quad Nations Cup 2020. I'm getting old a bit anyways. Today we have England all-time versus Pakistan all-time. England have won their first game. So has Pakistan. So this is a game between two teams who are undefeated. The only two teams undefeated so far in this one. Do let me know who do you think is going to win. And now... Let's jump straight into the game. All right, game number four in the tournament, but game number two for the two teams involved. England's second game, so it's Pakistan's. It's at the Kia Oval, so in, uh, England's got an advantage, home advantage here. Here are the two lineups showing Morgan Leighton from the front, Andrew Flint off in um, a couple of new players in for Pakistan all time as well as England so I will be rotating the players a bit seeing how well each player does and then keeping that player and bringing in others and then in the end we will have the ultimate team that's the plan at least but here we go coin toss Owen Morgan and the great Imran Khan. Owen Morgan in history will go down as the great as well as he won the only World Cup for England. England have won the toss. Someone just mentioned in the comments that Asian teams never won the toss. And there you go. <laughs> Pakistan lost the toss again. England have won the toss. Owen Morgan decided to go with the bat first. So Pakistan will be bowling first. I'm not entirely sure how good of an idea that is because Pakistan... If there's anything they're good at, it's bowling me. They're very good, but here we go. The Pakistanis in that iconic 92 kit making their way into the field. Kia Oval, Muin Khan right there. Someone mentioned that I should have brought in Wasim Bari or something like that. I don't even know who that is, but if you are saying he's a good player, then I agree. I don't disagree that he's not a good player. It's just that I didn't know who that was at the time of making these teams and recording these videos. And therefore... Uh, yeah, I haven't included him, but Moin Khan is still pretty good, you know, he's not that bad. Anyways, here we go, Wasim Akram warming up, getting ready to bowl the first ball as he has done so many times in the past for Pakistan. It's Andrew Straussy, the ca former captain of England with Jossie Butt, but the current wicket-keeping beast of a batsman. So here we go, first livery, Wasim Akram to Andrew Strauss, and that's straight to, I don't even know what that position is called, but it's a dot. So far so good, okay, spoke too soon, Strauss goes on the leg side, and that's gone for four, first boundary of innings for England. Khar Yunus, the other W, gets a wicket, it's Jossie Butt, but he's gone for just one run. Early wicket for Pakistan, that's always important. And Wakhar Yunus shaping it away from Josh Butler. Dropping it a bit short on that occasion. He went full the first two deliveries and then short right after. And uh, got a bit of extra movement, late movement as well on that one, which is what I think undone uh, Josh Butler. Joe Root, the classic number three, current England number three, makes his way into the middle. And uh, Wakhar Yunus... It's just two deliveries and he's already got a wicket. He's gone short again. That's a good shot, but there's a fielder and he's got him. Oh no, that's gone over. Wow. Okay, that's gone for a six. I thought that was another wicket for him. Instead, it's a sixer. Yep. It goes a bit full on this occasion. Joe Root up for the challenge. He's put that one away. That's gone to the boundary for four. And that's ten runs off the over. He started off really well, and I mean, it could have been even better if the fielder had actually not, you know, gone over the rope. That would have been two wickets and only four runs now. And here we go. He goes full. Oh, that's a dangerous delivery. In swing and full deliveries from Wakar Yunus. You're always in trouble. The umpire says no. What's Imran Khan going to do here? Is he going to go for it? Oh, yes, he is. He's going for it. He's reviewed that. Imran Khan looked confident the way he walked up to the other two players. It looked like he was going to go for it, although the bowler, Wakar Yunus himself, didn't look too confident in that one. Has he hit it at the bat? No, he has not, and that's definitely outside of off. Which is why Wakar Yunus was not looking too confident walking up to Imran Khan. 
But Imran wanted him to go for it. Take the chance, get an neck. You know, if they could get the other wicket, the early wicket, they're in, you know? And this is England. Like I said, they've won their first game, so this is the team to beat. If Pakistan can do that, Pakistan is pretty much through to the next round. Two wins is all you need to make it through to the final. So this is a really important game for both these teams, actually. Well, let's see. To me, it looks outside of off, but um, we'll find out if it is or not in a second with the Hawkeye. Oh, just go to the Hawkeye already, mate. Come on. <laughs> Did swing a mile though. Yep, outside of off, definitely going on to hit the stumps. But um, that's one of the problems with bowlers like Wakar Yunus is they swing it so much that it's kind of impossible to get the LBW in your favor. Mushi, I loved him. He was such a talented spinner. He's been put away though. What a lovely shot from Straussy though. Would you ever have imagined Straussy playing at this switcheroo? I mean, I, I I didn't think he had it, but he's got it. Look at that. He's middled it, found the gap and the rope. He's given him a bit too much room. Strauss, he's gone f after him. He's not cleared the rope, but that's just short. One bounce and gone for four. Look at that lovely shot. He's gone short again. There's a field. Uh, no, it's not going to carry. Not this time. It's a lovely hook that's gone over the inner circle and that's gone for four. Strauss is looking all right, you know. If he can keep his wicket, they might be in for quite a game here. He's yep. gone straight down the ground. I think he's hit it too well. I think that's a six. Oh, yes, just about clears the rope. That's gone over six runs. Like I said, Andrew Strauss is looking all right. This could be the innings of his life. This could give England the game right here. Take him over to the playoffs. If they win this, like I said, automatic playoff spot. Sarfaraz Nawaz, the inventor of reverse swing right there on your screens. Joe Root, though, putting him away like he's a nobody. Come on, mate, show some respect. It's been put away again on the left side this time. Is that going all the way? I think so. Yes, it has. Joe Root is looking quite good. Oh, it's so taken away by Strauss that I forgot about Root at the other end. He's actually doing much better than Strauss. Shaheen Shah Freedy, the current Pakistani. Very young, comes into play against these legends. And he's been treated with a boundary first up. It's gone short. Strauss, he's played it straight to the field. Huh? I'll pick up a single there. Oh, that's quite close, but I don't think it's out. And I don't think the Empire looks interested either. Halim Dar says no, he has not gotten any wrong so far. And that's 50 partnership up. All right, so if they're celebrating that, then uh, Ruti McRuderson knows he got it with the bat. And, uh, oh no, it, it's leg buys. Wait, what? I thought leg buys don't... Well, I guess they count against the total, just not individually for the batsman. That's a lovely hook from Straussy. That's gone for four. Both of these guys looking in top form. Destructive. What a hit. That's a six. That's a six. That's gone. 74 meters. And with that, he moves into 40. Well, 40 exactly. It's looking all right, isn't he? Joe Root at the other end doing some damage as well. He goes again, this time straight to the field eh? and will only pick up one. So far as Nawaz back into the attack, missing his line. He's been sent straight down the ground by Strauss. 46, he moves on to just four runs away from his 50. So Strauss, he's definitely cemented his place in the team. He'll be playing in the next game as well. He's gone for the Yorker length again, but Strauss, he's just... It's an amazing form. That's gone for four, actually. That's his 50. 50 up for Andrew Strauss of uh, 27 deliveries, eight fours, two sixes, 185.2 strike rate. Exactly 30 minutes it took him. Oh, it's been struck. Sent straight down the ground. Is that a six? I think it might be. I couldn't really see it. Yes, it is. 
68 meters, which means it's just about crossed the rope or maybe even landed right on the rope. But yeah, a bit of movement there, but uh, Root was up for the challenge. And uh, pretty good stuff from Root here. Root and Strauss, are really taking this one away from Pakistan. It's another lovely shot through extra cover and there's nobody there, that's four more. 43 for Root. It's looking all right, isn't he? It's been a lot of things said about him recently. He's not good. He doesn't deserve to be the captain. He's taking it all out here. All of his frustration right here. He's taking it all out. And he's showing the world how versatile he is. Playing on in T20 and playing really well. Root on 47. As a fielder, I think he's beating him. And that's his 50. That's his 50. Root. All right, what an innings. 25 deliveries over 200 strike rate, three sixes, six fours. Lovely jubbly, mate. Oh, he's got him. He's got his middle pole. Saklen Mushtaq strikes. And that's the end of Root. A very belligerent innings comes to an end, a very good one. One that's put England in a very superior position. And he's gone. Saklen Mushtar cleaned him up. 51 of 28 deliveries. Number three, gone. Oin Morgan, the skipper. He's in top form as well. Oh, it's gone into extra cover. Strauss, and that's four more runs for him. 59 he's moved on to. He's gone after him again. Similar area, and I think he's beaten the fielder again. Oh! Very well fielded from Imran Khan. Saved his team a couple of runs there. Shaheen back into the attack. Oh, what a hit. That's gone for six. That is gone. Oh, boy. Some of these hits, you can just tell right from the get-go, they're going over the rope. <laughs> and he taps the pitch. There's no better feeling, is there? Hitting a six and then tapping the pitch <laughs> with your bat. He's just done that to the youngster. Sticking him on again, and I think that's another four. Is it? Yes. Yes, it is. It's gone. Four runs from Warren Morgan. First boundary of the innings. He's giving him a bit too much room. He's hit it well. There's a fielder, but I think he's beaten him. Yes, he has. That's gone. Four. 73 he moves on to. He's unstoppable, mate. Let's toss that one up there. That's gone for six. That's a six. And no need to worry about that one. That's gone into the stands. 94 meters, that is. It's a huge one from the skipper himself. Shaheen trying to go for the Yorker length, but Strauss, he's just in such a red hot form. He's putting everything away. He's giving him a bit of room again. Full and wide and gone. Four runs. 83. Is he going to get his 100? I kind of hope he does. I am a Pakistani, but you know, <laughs> kind of want to see Andrew Strauss get his 100. 83 of uh, 48 deliveries. Shaheen, oh, in the same area. Again, 87 he moves on to. <laughs> he is too good. He's gone short now, he's pulled it away, there's a fielder. Uh-oh, misfield, of course there is misfielding. It's Pakistan we're talking about after all. And uh, I think he's moved into his 90s now. Ran Khan coming into the attack so late, he has been smashed first delivery. Oh, just short. 96, he's moved on to just four runs away, but I would have liked to see him come a bit earlier. I think he's, uh, he wanted to give everybody else the ball before he could bowl, and I think it's going to cost him, to be honest. Because he is a very good bowler. He can pretty much dismiss anyone. That's a lovely shot, but straight to the fielder. 97. Straussy, come on. Keep it simple, mate. Don't lose your wicket now. He's gone full. No, he's hit it with a bat. He's hit it with a bat. And they've taken another single there. All right, here we go. Is this the one? Uh-oh, he's gone. Is that out? I think it's out. Oh, my goodness. He's gone. He's gone on 97, Imran Khan. You're ruthless. 
You just got him out on 97. Andrew Strauss. <laughs> He's going to review it. He has to. He's on 97. He doesn't have a choice. But I think he's gone. That was straight in front. Let's see. I kind of hope he's not out, to be honest. I want to see him get his 100. Oh, he's gone. Oh, that's straight in front. I mean, I'm kind of surprised how that's actually not hit the actual stumps. because that was a very quick one. I would have thought that would have sort of ricocheted off the uh, pad and gone on to hit the stump, but I guess not. Look at that. Yeah, that's gone, mate. That's... That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. He is coming. That's a problem with Imran Khan. He does come in at an angle, so... Gets a bit extra swing, obviously, but then it becomes a bit difficult in situations like this, LBWs, because this could go on to miss the leg stump. But I don't think it's gonna. And here's the thing, the Empire's giving it out, so even if it's just clipping it, it's still out. But I think it's gonna go on to hit the middle of the stump. There you go. And it's out. And that is very unfortunate for Andrew Strauss. He's going for 97. But regardless, that's a very good innings. That's come to an 97 of 55 deliveries, 15 fours, three sixes. Are you kidding me? So Ian Botham now makes it out to the middle. He's gone straight. I'm yawning. <laughs> Sorry. And he's gone too far. Nine, uh, 73 meters, six. And now they're saying 67. Well, it's definitely bigger than 67. Because earlier, Joe Root hit the rope directly and it was 69. So how is that smaller than that? Ricard <laughs> Yunus tries the in-swinging iconic Yorker, but it's been dispatched straight down the ground by Sir Ian Botham. Oh, trying for that Yorker length again, missing his mark. But has he got him? I cannot see. I think that's gone for six. Yes, it has. I literally cannot see behind the side screen. It's funny how it's called a side screen. It's supposed to make visibility easier for the batsman, but not for me. <laughs> it's making it harder for me. Oh, nicked it. And luckily, nicked it right between the two fielders and it'll reach the rope. No problem. Four runs, 21. Ian moves on to. All right, he sent that one straight down the ground as well. What about this one? Is anybody going to catch it? Nope, that's gone. 70 meters. Six. Both of them. What is he doing? What has he had? He's smashing it. Look at that. It's looking all right. 28 of eight deliveries. Are you kidding me? That's another four. That's gone Owen Morgan. 24 he moves on to. Wachard Yunus has been so expensive and all of this could have been avoided if the catch of uh, Joe Root was taken earlier. Could have been an entirely different story now. All right, he's gone after him again. That's four. He's found the middle of the two fielders as he has so often in this game. He's going after him. I think that's a six. Yeah, that's a six. Ian Botham. You need to calm down. You need to keep this PG. There are kids watching, mate. What are you doing? Oh, my God. He's gone into uh, 30s. And he's under 10 delivery still. What a belligerent cameo. Oh, okay, he's just uh, gone to 10. 35 of 10. Are you serious? And that's not where he's going to end it. Or is he actually? Nope, that's gone over. That's a sixer. 230 runs. What? Pakistan is not chasing this down. I am sorry to say, but you are not chasing this down. No way in hell you're chasing this down. What a hit. Oh, it's 224, I thought. Oh, he's gone for it. Make that 228. I thought that six would make it 230, but that six made it 224, and now it's 228. Again, closer and closer to 230. 
Is Ian Botham going to get his 50? Oh, he's missed that. And they're not going for the single. They should have gone for it. It was an easy single there, but he's not going to. That's the end of that innings. A very, very fine innings. Morgan, the skipper, alongside the absolute legend, Ian Botham. There you have it, these legends embracing the modern form of cricket T20, that is. 97 and 55 for Andrew Strauss, and uh, 51 while well, he's the current player. And then 45 for the other legend, 13 deliveries only. Pretty poor with the ball. They were very poor with the field as well. If they could have improved one of those things, they would have been in a much better position. But here we go, Amir Sahail replaced, no. Say then were replaced by Amir Sahail, coming along with Bob Razam. Jimmy Anderson, quite easily the most successful British bowler, or English bowler, I should say. First delivery, he's been sent straight down the ground. When you're chasing 229, you've got to get going early, and that's exactly the plan here. Just played that one so nicely. Will that, will that go to the boundary? I don't think so. We've picked up a couple of runs. Amr Sahail, I mean, Bob Razum wanted the third one, but Amr Sahail refused. Jofra Archer now. Oh, he's been hit hard. Has he been hit hard enough, though? That's a real question. Yes, he has. That's gone over the rope. 65 meters, six from Amr Sahail's blade. Jofra been put away can be quite dangerous we saw him in the ashes it was so dangerous he injured like three of Australia's batsmen back to back let's hope he doesn't do that here do not harm these legends mate oh he sent it straight down the ground Amr Sahel is looking good and he's such a classy batsman if he gets going Pakistan's got a very good chance in winning this Barbarazam strikes that one hard. Oh, he's nearly cleared the rope. Not happy with himself there, but... That's not out. Come on, he's hit it with a bat. That was a clear noise there. Darren Goff, the legendary Darren Goff. And is that a six? I think it is. Yes, it is. Amersail looking too good. 27, he moves on to 27? No, 25. What am I saying? Matt's in it. Can be hard sometimes. <laughs> but lovely shot off his pads. It's a good hit again. I think that's another six. Oh, he's gone over. That's gone for six. Not a chance for the fielder to stop that one. Giles, oh, he's given a bit of room. Amr Sahail has played a lovely shot. That's gone to the boundary for four. So they're going at nearly 10 and over, and uh, that's good. Well, they need a bit more than that, to be honest, but um, it's a good start. They've not lost any wickets, and the run rate's pretty good as well. It's a lovely shot, but there's a fielder, and he's gone. What? He's gone. Amr Sahail is gone. In top form he was 37, he scored of 18 or 19 now, and Ashley Giles have striked. Have struck, I should have said. But he's gone, I'm Mr. Hill. He found the fielder right there. And the fielder made no mistake. Darren Goff it was. I'm Mr. Hill, though, very good innings, 37 of 19, nearly 200 strike rate. Zahira Bass, the Asian Don Bradman. Number 16. Oh, what a shot. What a classy shot. That's gone for four. You cannot stop that. Yep. Oh, he's found the gap somehow. I thought he might have just scooped it into the hands of the fielder, but that's gone for four. Oh, he's gone straight down the ground. He struck it really well, Barbarazum. Thought I was going to go all the way for six. It looked like it would. But it's landed a bit short. Darren Goff, he was quite expensive in the first one. Is that a six or is that a catch? I think it's a six. It's a six. Zahira Bass, first six of the game, 96 meters. This is quite a good reply from Pakistan so far. What a shot. He's found, <laughs> he's found the gap. Mr. 360 right here, Zahira Bass. 
A legend showing these modern batsmen he can do that stuff too. Oh, he's gone straight down the ground. That's gone for four. Barbara Azam's got to pick up his space though. 12 of 17. Well, 16 of 18 now. Still not good though. He's got to pick up the pace. He's really hurting Pakistan here. They're chasing nearly 230. You've got to go much higher than that. At least 100 strike rate. And is that a six? No, he's gone. 16 of 21. A very poor innings from the classy Barbara Azam. It's not a fun to watch him like that. We want to see him do well, but it's unfortunate. But he's gone now. Jofra Archer just about missing the rope. Very near the rope. From the other angle, it looked like his foot was on the rope. But then again, when you look at it close, I think it was just fine. Javed Miadad now comes into the middle. And Andrew Flint off Beefy. Freddy. Freddy in it. Let's do this. Oh, he's hit him in the helmet. It's a good thing he's put a helmet on. Normally these legends refuse to put the helmet on. Yep. He's gone short again. There's a field and I think he's gone. Oh, yes, he's gone. Zahid Abbas is gone as well. He was looking so good. But Freddy strikes. It's a short delivery. Climbed onto him a bit quickly. And uh, he smashed it into uh, the field. A lovely take as well. Pretty good. Andrew Strauss. 200 strike rate he was going at. He's done really well. Moin Khan comes in now. So he can get going. And score a few runs. Jimmy Anderson, he was so good in the first couple of overs. He's been sent straight down the ground by Moin Khan, but I think there's a field. Oh, what is, is that out? I think it's out, what? What a piece of fielding. I'm gonna need to see the replay for that. That was unbelievable. That was unbelievable. Look at that, look at what he's done. That is incredible. Look at what he has done. Who is that? Who is that? Is that Ian Botham? I mean, Root took the second. So took it the second time, but I think it was Ian Botham, the legend. Ooh. I can't. What? That is amazing. Imran Khan makes his way into the middle, but what the hell just happened? Oh, that's a good hit. I think it's a six. That's a lovely shot from Imran Khan. Six, ninety-six meters. Six. Of only a second delivery. And that's more like it. I mean, it's pretty clear Pakistan is going to lose this one. Because the game is just going farther and farther away from them. And they haven't got too many wickets in hand either. But they need to get as close as possible. To keep that run rate from going too low. Khan, he's pulled that one away. There's a fielder on the road. But that's gone. He's beaten them. Oh, he's necked it. Imran Khan has gone as well. He was looking all right. 200 striker he was going at, but he's gone. Freddy gets another big one with his short deliveries. He's looking too dangerous with the short ones. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Please don't review that. All right, thank you. <laughs> Josh Butler had to reach for that one. Does well in the end. And that's another wicket down, 12 of seven. It's looking all right, but he's gone. And like I said, that net run rate is going to go lower into the negatives, and they need to stop that. Wasim Akram can hit him hard. Let's hope he does hit him hard. Short and wide, and what a lovely shot. That's gone for four. There's no stopping that, mate. Short. He's pulled that one away. And we'll just get a single. Oh! What a stupid shot, by the way, and he's lost his wicket. What is he doing? What what is what is he trying to accomplish there? Taking that big of a stride in the offside. <laughs> All right, uh, it's truly over for Pakistan. Jawad Miadad has gone for four. Shahin Shafridi. Now we have seen him bat a bit. 
He's got that grey nickel sponsorship for a reason. But I don't think you can chase down 131. Freddy, he's been so good so far, and I think he's just gotten wicket number three, and again with a short one. It's Wasim Akram who's gone. Seven of six deliveries. And that's game set and match, mate. That's gone. It's, there's no coming back from this. Freddy, though. Wow, he's been so dangerous. So good. Three wickets, all with the short deliveries. Jofra takes the catch quite comfortably in the end, and Wasim Akram's gone for seven runs of six. And this is going to be a really bad defeat. This is really going to hurt Pakistan. Like, really hurt them. They can no longer leave it to chance. They have to win their second game, or third game, sorry. Is that out? Oh, what a great piece of field. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is what Pakistan needed in the field. And they got the exact opposite of this in the field. And that's why they conceded so many runs. He's gone into extra cover. A free, they trying to uh, minimize the damage, although I don't know how much he actually can do. Oh, it's a clean trying to play a shot through the offside. Gets a single, pretty good stuff right there. Yes. Nicked it. Oh, luckily, he's right between the two fielders and onto the rope it goes for four. Freddy not happy with that one, but he's again, look, the short one again does the trick. In this case, he's gone for four, but still, it wasn't like an in-control shot at all. Oh, he struck that one. Has he struck it well enough? I think he has. That's gone for six. 95 meters. The Afridi name continues to produce more and more sixes. Ian Botham comes into ball now. He was so good with the bat. If he can take a wicket here, he's definitely going to take the man of the match away from Straussy. If not, then Straussy will keep it. Actually, to be honest, the game is pretty much over at this point, so even if both of them does get wickets, I think Straussy will still get the man of the match, and that's a lovely drive on the offside from Shaheen Shah Freedy. Look at that. Boom! It's amazing to see this youngster, a bowler, doing better with the bat than uh, some of the regular batsmen. Oh, he smashed his off stump out. That was a slow one. Moved away from him quite a bit. A late movement. Beaten Shaheen Shah and his off pole is gone. Card wheeling back to Josh Butler. Ian Botham gets a wicket. 20 of 13 for Shaheen Shah. He's done his best. He's done more than enough, to be honest. And now Wakar Yunus. Is that the last wicket? No, there's still time for Az Nawaz. This is not the last wicket. He's hit it well, you know, Akhar Yunus. Who would have thought he can bat? Oh, they're pushing for the second one, and they got there in the end as well. And now they need 98 runs only. That's it. <laughs> like I said, it's important for them to play out the overs. Oh, he's gone. Oh, it's a drop catch. Oh, are you serious? Who is that? It looks like it's Flintoff, actually. He's had such a brilliant game. Please don't tell me it's Flintoff. That's going to spoil it. Owen oh, Morgan not happy with him. I think it was flint off. The cameraman's trying to save him. <laughs> yeah, oh, he yeah. sent it straight down the ground. Has he hit it hard enough? Has he? Has he? No, he has not. Wakar well, Yunus is gone as well. Like I said, it's so important for them to play out the entire 20 overs, but I don't think they're gonna. They're on the last wicket. Because if they do not win their next game, which is a very important game, by the way, Pakistan all-time versus India all-time. Historically, Pakistan have won more games. But uh, in the current years, India has been dominating. Pakistan have won a few here and there in the Asia Cup and the Champions Trophy, but other than that, it's been all India. But back in the day, it was Pakistan who had the uh, advantage. So uh, it's going to be a tough one. It's a 50-50 always between Pakistan and India. And um, so that's why it is very important for them to score as many runs as possible here. Because they, they, they might need the net run rate in the end. And if they lose it like this, they're not going to be in a good place. 
Oh, he's nicked it. What a catch from Josh Butler. He's leapt onto that like a panther. What a take. And that's another wicket for Ian Botham. Zaklan gone. He's quite short. Well, compared to Sarfaraj Nawaz. He's going to review it because the last wicket. But uh, there's no point really. You're just wasting everybody's time here. But that's the end of that. And Pakistan is in trouble now. They've got India next. Like I said, that's a 50-50 game. If they lose that, then they'll need to... Uh, well, I don't know. We'll see. Because you need to win two games to make it through to the next round. But it could ha just so happen if Pakistan loses against India and Australia wins against... No, if Australia wins against... <coughs> excuse me. If Australia wins against England, which is the last game of Australia and England, then... Australia and England will go through because then that's two wins for Australia, two wins for England. If Australia loses against England, then that's three wins for England, only one win for Australia. And if Pakistan loses against India, that's one win for Pakistan and India. Run rate is what will count. But England is through, though. They have won this by a massive margin. 91 runs. Ian Botham gets the player of the match. <laughs> I think Andrew Strauss, he got done dirty there. I mean, Ian Botham, yes, he was amazing. 45 of 13 and then got two wickets as well. But those two wickets? Yeah, they those two wickets didn't really do anything, did they? They were tail end as he got out. So, um... I think Strauss, he got done dirty there, but there's the uh, game. Very poor from Pakistan. And uh, they will absolutely have to win the next game because uh, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy at all. And Freddie, amazing bowling figures. All right, here are the highest wicket takers. Freddie climbs on top after two games. Andrew Simmons right behind him. Jimmy Anderson's there as well as Ian Botham and Anil Kumble and Shane Warne all with three wickets. And then you go into the twos with Wasim Akram, Bishan, Betty and so on. Andrew Strauss, one game and at the top. Ian Botham right behind him. Ricky Ponning is there as well. All right, let's take a look at what is possible. So you've got England versus Australia and Pakistan versus India. India have not won a game yet. If they win that game, they've got two points, same as Pakistan and Australia. Australia will then need to lose against England. And then you've got Australia with two points, Pakistan with two points, and India with two points. Net run rate will count. Net run rate at the moment for India is quite low, but that's only because they've lost two games compared to Pakistan who've only lost one game. So, like I said, net run rate, very important. But let's say Pakistan wins against India, then Pakistan's got four points. But what if Australia wins against England? Again, it comes down to the net run rate, and that is why I kept saying that. So, let me know who do you think is going to go through the final. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, drop a like. If you're new, do subscribe to share the video. And uh, yeah, I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...